And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Pray with me now. Father, I open myself up again. I ask you to preach through me, teach through me, and then let the power of the Holy Spirit flow through me. And so we ask you for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. We ask you for your mercy and your grace. We ask you, Father, that that kingdom come, that will be done in us as it is in heaven. Whatever's going on in heaven right now, we ask for it to manifest in the lives of everyone who's under the sound of my voice, even the children that are here. So faith comes by hearing, not by doing. So we ask you to bless even the young ones, even the babies, even those who may be still in the womb. Bless now that we may, may pour on heaven itself. We are a unique people. We are called by your name and brought forth by your son. We thank you, Father, for your blessings. So bind unto us a spirit of wisdom and revelation unto the knowledge of thee that eyes of our understanding might be enlightened and that we will know the hope of the calling that is in Christ Jesus in the very same power that you raised up Jesus from the dead that be in us. That our faith not be rested upon the excellency of speech or enticing words of man's wisdom, but that our faith rest upon uh, the demonstration of the Spirit and the power. For we desire our faith to be established in what you do. We thank you right now. We bind every enemy that is not of God out of this place. And the glory of God be released from heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated in the name of the Lord. Now give God a hand and have a praise, please. And that is my idea. Clap my song. How about giving him a crazy praise? God said, your dad is going to give you 
you a good step? But I know how to give you better. And I got more for you. And so I want to cheat you and, 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 and want to encourage you that you've heard me talk about this with a new way of playing. And when you come out of these things sincerely, you will see the walk with you. And since it's power, I guarantee you this power will release in your life. If you're taking notes, Hebrews. Don't write this down. Hebrews, let me write this the note down. Chapter 4, verse 14 through 16. Another portion of scripture is Ephesians chapter 1, verses 5 through 7. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 through 19. Now, oh, and Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 through 19. I want to give you some definitions first so that you understand more clearly what I'm talking about. Number one, the glory is the power of God. When you see the word glory, the glory of God, it is speaking of the power of God. And the manifestation of the presence of God. And the goodness of God. So when you talk about God's glory, it is the power of God, the manifestation of the presence of God, and the goodness of God. The next word will be, I want to give a definition. You're going to hear this a lot. You already have it. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is the will of God being done as it is in heaven. Where, the, where even the kingdom of God is manifested and activated. So what I'm saying is that when you talk about the kingdom of God, talk about what's going on in heaven right now. And that right now, whatever you imagine that's in heaven, heaven is, what's happening in heaven is what God wants to happen here on earth. We talked about that. And so his healing up there, it is the manifestation, is activated up there, but it comes into our hearts when you believe it and hear the word. And then now God wants to come through us. It was out of these purposes. God gave them that garden with the intention of having help in the company on this earth. And if he kept taking care of the garden, the garden would increase the company into our earth. But he did it again this time through the blood of Jesus. And Jesus has brought forth the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God is the will, is the will of God being done as it is in heaven. Where even the kingdom is manifested and activated. Now, uh, this is a little more in detail about grace. Are you with me so far? Amen. The grace of God is the favor of God through the new covenant and the finished works of Jesus. Let me say it again. The grace of God is the favor of God through the new covenant and the finished works of Jesus. Let me, let me explain that to you right quick. The new covenant is a list of promises that God has given us by the blood of Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross, wherever you see the shedding of the blood, it's a promise. As in the old covenant, if you did good, you got good. If you did bad, you got bad. If you paid your tithe, you got blessed. If you didn't pay your tithe, you got blessed. You didn't get blessed. But in the new covenant, God doesn't bless you because of what you do. He blesses you because of what Jesus has done. That's why the goodness of God will hit everybody. And especially those of us who are in the covenant. And when you come in, you are in Christ Jesus. So God, when he looks at us and he wants to bless us, he doesn't seek us. He sees his son who was obedient on the cross and did everything his father 
He's blessing us Amen. with his goodness. Yeah. That's why you wonder, what did that happen to me? And why did this happen to me? Are you believing this way? Yeah. If you believe this word, if you believe he's good, he'll show up. Yeah. I think all this week, I'm like saying, I'm thinking like, thank you, Lord. I was thinking one thing was going to happen. I'm, I'm out of place. You know, it's not, it just didn't work out right for me. I'm trying to do this. I get crazy and I think I'm Superman. And I try to do 10 things at a time here when I can only do one. Amen. On a regular basis. Then I end up disappointed because it didn't happen like I planned. I didn't blame God anymore. But I blame me. But I'm still disappointed. I didn't do what I wanted to do. Anybody been there? Yeah. Amen. But the goodness of God will change your skin. Right. He'll give you spirit time. I get I can get from here, it seems like from, from here to my house in five minutes on from nine to five. And you cannot do life 
without Jesus Christ. I'm giving you instructions for you to, uh, an impartation for you to try to adapt these things to your life. You cannot be holy. We are sinners. Our nature comes from a sinful background. One of our major issues is this flesh you're walking in. But this on you, it's impossible. You can't be holy. All that we know how to do is be sinners. So God gave us the Holy Ghost. And he gave him to show us how to be holy. And if you follow him, he will make sure and lead you into true holiness. So don't think you know how to be holy by yourself that you've been in all old covenant and new covenant. Does not go back there. You ever try to do good and it turned out wrong? You I, I try to say it stuff sometimes, but every time I say it, it came out wrong. You can't do it without him. Jesus said you can't live this life without him. And so I'm trying to give an impartation. If you begin to just say, Lord,
the most common place they easily find God is in the church. It's a lot of good people in the church. And God saves the crazy ones and make them good. He saves sinners and make them good. The foolish become wise in the church. And we're going to get it right anyway. If you want to find a good man, find him in the church. Ain't nobody here.
and holiness type churches. And they were up in there doing what they were doing. And so we started talking and they said, man, we know what's right. We know what we should be doing. But I just, we just said, I said, well, all that came to my mind. I said, but, but I, I'm just telling you, I, I'm not here not to, you know, chastise you or nothing. I'm just here to say, God is there. Yeah. And he wants you. Amen. And that's why I came, just to say, God is here. And I said, do this is what I do. I remember when I was doing my thing out there. Uh, but I came to myself one day and I said, God, are you, if you are really real, I want you to know. I said, I don't want church stuff. Like, they all grew up in church. They identified the churches in the area. They were part of them. And, and I said, just like you, I said, God, if you're really real, I want to know. I want your power in my life. Now, it took God uh, about, what did I say, 40 plus years, about 46 years now, to bring me to where I am now. Could have gotten a whole lot earlier if I was taught what the whole world word meant. Mm -hmm. If I knew I needed the Holy Spirit and I needed to be obedient to him, like I understand now, I wish somebody had taught me. Mm -hmm. I wish somebody had shown me the things in the world were other than traditions, and traditions are fine. That's what we grew up with. When it comes down to the there is a release that God wants you to understand that we have to walk in. You got to do the work because the world is about to come to an end. Jesus is coming back soon. And I'm praying to God that he will allow us to teach us and show us how to walk in the power of God. And you won't be doing any work. When you get there, already, when you get there, everybody in the meeting said, I was waiting on you to come on in and pray for prayer. That's what it should be. They so glad, they so beat up, they so humble. And, and the world is like that. But all we got is good religion. Are you listening to me? So it's time for us to come against the kingdom of God by loosing the new covenant. Amen. Peter and John said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have did by thee. In the name of Jesus, rise up and be healed. So what he was saying was, I got healing on the inside of me. What's on the inside of you? Have you been reading the word and believing the word? Have you been seeking God with all your heart? You need to start doing that. Because God needs some instruments. He needs some vessels. He can pour his spirit in it that you can make a difference. As Patty and those sons of song this morning, fill me up to overflow. Yeah. Fill me up, Lord. Yeah. That has to be our, 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 our desire. Fill me up, Lord. Yeah. That his goodness will fly down of us. His blessings will come out of us. Yeah. We lose wealth in this community of Titus. We lose healing in this community of this time. We, we, we release the presence of God, the kingdom of God, the glory of God in this place. Have you been to the city 
Psalm 11 and we celebrate where they have all sorts of apartments and condominiums and, and stuff that's like they had to stand close to a billion dollars. And they created, created their own city. They have two or three zip codes. And Walt Disney believed it. He dreamed it. Where are your dreams? We always think that ain't possible. Even run away. <laughs> he got up there and speaks one day. He says, Mr. Gorbachev, bring down that wall. Mr. Gorbachev, bring down the iron curtain. And it happened in one year. What are you saying? 